going on YouTube? It's your boy Kurt Seven here in a different location. You're probably not recognizing the background, but um, there's a reason for that, and there's a reason why my uploading this week hasn't been as normal. Real Madrid are in town now. I, probably some of you guys don't know. I live in Australia, in Melbourne, and they are actually in my home city. Now, a lot of you guys probably know I'm a huge United fan, huge Cristiano Ronaldo fan. So I decided with a mate, go check them out. They were training, what day were they training, Jordan? Friday. Friday. We went to suss them out Friday. We, f we found out the hotel they were coming, and we went out the front, and there was hundreds and hundreds of people. No chance of getting a signature. Now, I said, right, they're going to be here what, for another week and a bit? Ronaldo's 30, he ain't coming back to Australia. He ain't got that many pre-season tours left in him. You know, he, I, I can't see myself going to the Bernabeu in the next few years, so I don't think I'm ever, ever gonna get a chance to see Ronaldo. I said, you know what, screw this, I don't care. Let's book a room at this hotel. So we did, we booked the room. And here we are at this hotel right now. We paid, what, what, it's like 600 bucks a night or something. Something ridiculous, yeah? So expensive. But I got a good room. It's like the king suite. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but like there's a spa in there. And not there's a much of a view out here the, that you're going to see. But I don't know. There's a city right there. But um, actually, I should open this up. You guys, something pretty for you guys to look at. Anyways, not the point. I'm here to see Real Madrid and Ronaldo. So the plan of action was to get a photograph, a selfie, or or a top sign. Now I went. I've got hundreds of Ronaldo tops, but seriously, I probably got about thirty. And I wanted to get one signed, and this is the one I wanted to get signed here. 2008 Champions League final. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, on the back, Ronaldo seven. I just wanted a nice signature here, just something. That's all I want from this night at this expensive hotel. That's how dedicated I am, just to get something. Anyways, so we get to the hotel, we check in, and our room's not ready. And she told us our room's gonna be over that side of the hotel, we went fast. We seen Ronaldo down the bottom of the lobby, uh, the lobby and he literally gets in this uh, elevator and goes up. Anyways, the lady comes back and said, sorry, your room's not ready, you're not taking that one. You're taking another room, and it's down here, exactly where Ronaldo went. And we were like, oh my god, we are staying literally in the same tower as Ronaldo. Turns out, we're like level 17, and Ronaldo is like just above us or just under us. He's like, like really, really close to us. Anyways, so we knew we had the head training, and we were just like, just so excited. Just, we we're going to wait in the lobby, and the plan was, right, when they come out, when Ronaldo comes down the elevator, we're going to go down the bottom and wait for him. As he walks out, that's it. There we go. Plan of action done. That was it. That was our plan. That's what we had figured out. Anyways, the players weren't coming out yet, but we knew it wasn't long until players were starting to come out. What? Probably, we knew what, Jordan? Probably another 20 minutes or so. About 20 minutes to half an hour, we knew players were going to start coming out slowly. So I said to Jordan, hey, let's go to the bottom now where well, nobody's here, no security, no nothing. And then we're on the bottom, bang, Ronaldo, here's my top. You know, there we go, that's it. Anyway, so we get in the elevator, we press the door to go down, and the door, ding! <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo right at the front there, just looking at us. Jordan, my mate, just like, uh, I was like that too. Jordan went in the elevator, straight away. Ronaldo's not at the back, he's not at the corner, he's not looking left, not looking right. Bang, at the front, looking at us. Jordan goes in. Ronaldo is looking at me, and he does this. Like, looking at me as if to say, you're gonna come in? Like, and I'm just like, just <laughs> like the biggest idiot ever. Just like a stooge, but... I just froze, I just froze, like I just, just froze, just, anyways, Jordan's like, Curtis, like, and I'm like, Ronaldo's looking at me, and I'm looking at Ronaldo, like, I got this top ready, like, just, and I just froze, anyways, don't ask me how, 
but I went in the elevator. I went in. Now, as Jordan went in, he touched him on the back. As I went in, I rubbed shoulders with him. Anyways, he was still at the front. He just didn't move to the back. He didn't move to the side. He just wanted to be at the front. So I moved around him, bumped shoulders with him, side by side I'm with him. I'm in an elevator with Cristiano Ronaldo. I've got a texter in my pocket. Just, I just, right here. I've got a shirt ready to go. All I had to do was just tap him in the back. Hey, can I just get a quick signature? Just a scribble, just anything. But no, I froze. I froze. I just, mate, I've been watching Ronaldo since he was 18 at United for over 10 years. And I just froze, man. I just froze. I just, Jordan froze. I froze. And we just, <laughs> we just laughed. Ronaldo looked at us. He just like, and anyways, the elevator. That, we went down one floor together. One floor. It felt like a hundred floors. It just, I was just staring at his calves. I was staring at his shoes. I was staring at his socks. I was just, look, oh my God, Ronaldo and me, and we're gonna live together, like... <sighs> Anyways, the lift opens and bang, he was gone. Straight to training, and... Oh my god, like, we literally just like, what, what, what just happened? Like, we weren't expecting that! We were expecting another 10, 20, 15 minutes, half an hour, they're gonna come out. Not there! Oh my god. Anyways, we're not done there yet. We're not done there yet. So, the guy training, we knew they're going to be a few hours. So, we went out to the city, had a laugh. We actually went to the Man City's hotel by accident, funnily enough. And funnily enough, there was, what, 20 people there at the front waiting for the city? And we were just like, yeah, I just hang around here. I seen a few subscribers and that, that was pretty cool, you know, but... I, we got over waiting for City, but ah, City man, small club, we can, I don't even care about Sterling, well, basically, so we just like stuff this, let's just go back to the hotel, wait for Madrid, anyways, in the lobby, back at this hotel, waiting for Madrid, coming back from training, coming back, oh my god, anyways, we're waiting in the lobby for ages, for ages, and again, the plan was, when they come in the hotel, they're obviously on the bottom floor, they're going to go straight up to their rooms. So I said to my mate Jordan, who I'm with, I said, let's get to the bottom floor straight away. And when they come, boom, we're right there. We're not meant to be there. We didn't know we're not meant to be there on the bottom floor. You're allowed to be on the lobby, but there's one, un one floor underneath the lobby that you're not allowed to be there. We didn't know that, but we thought we'd just go there, try our luck. Anyways, we hear this massive roar out of nowhere. And it's like the all fans at the front of the hotel. Just fucking, there's hundreds of them just screaming. And we're like, right, game on. They're here. All right, shit, let's just get to the bottom. Let's get to the bottom. We run, we jump in the elevator. It's just like pressing the button. Ding, 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 go down. We get down. And next thing you know, the doors open. Pfft, Ronaldo's there waiting. Ronaldo's there, Jordan's in front of me, and I'm behind Jordan, and behind Ronaldo, Tony Cruz, Benzema, all, every single Real Madrid player there is, Ramos, they're all there, and Ronaldo just looks at us, he's like, get out, and I was just like, oh my god, he just spoke to us, I don't care, he just told us off to get out, he spoke to us, and I was like, oh man, like, again, I was like, just saw my top, but no, I froze, I was like, hola amigo, just, no, it just didn't happen, just, <sighs> so as you can see, this top is, this top is still not signed, and that was my great experience with Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid. <laughs> But we waited for, when Ronaldo went up, we waited in this little, like, uh, I guess it was like a little, like, waiting room, and Benzema was there, uh, Odegaard, Karim, um, so Benzema, Modric was there, Varane was there, who else was there? Isco. Isco was there, like, the, oh, the whole team was just there, you know, and we were just like, oh my god, like, this is unreal, this is crazy, this is like, <sighs> mate, and I just... Ha 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 ha
<laughs> unreal, man. Absolutely unreal. Unreal, man. Anyways, it is not over. Tomorrow morning, we are getting up at like 5.30 in the morning. I don't care. We are gonna str we're gonna try and wait and get a signature. It's all I want. It's all I want. Ronaldo, please sign my top. <laughs> I'll see you soon.